Alright guys, so instead of posting part 2 next week, I'm going to do it now. So, yeah. Oh, I got some messages. BRB, because I'm going to be doing this video. Oh, anyway. Um, subscribe to Kyra Barnes' channel if she has one. And subscribe to Brenna Lenard's channel if she has one. So, yeah, just get that out of the way first. Oh, and subscribe to Nicole Gockley's channel. Indeed, has one. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, part two is uh, it's about more of the future toward, it's about maybe a year ago towards now. So, yeah, in seventh grade, when I first started, uh, I've only went to, uh, in seventh grade, I've only been at the regular school that I've been to for a couple weeks, and I went to cyber. So, I've only went to seventh grade for like a couple weeks on regular, and I went to cyber for the rest of seventh grade. And I really, I've only got to see her through lunch, which really wasn't enough, and maybe the hallways a couple times. So, yeah, but I, but every year I got to see her, it's like every year I got closer to her and I tried to be with her more. Because, like I said, every year I loved her more. But anyway, yeah. So, 7th grade, I didn't make it see her much. And basically all through 7th grade this summer, I've been trying to well, be with her and, you know, see her in person. But it's been kind of difficult, so... Yeah, just been talking about on regular terms, you know, texting, blah, 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 so, yeah. But really hurt me, I don't know if it really hurt me, though. That just, well, I was, like, single for, like, two years or so when we weren't dating. I was, like, single the entire time. And she was just dating other guys. That didn't really make me feel good at all. I mean, I feel like I wasn't really that much to her, but really. I don't know. I don't know. She tells me a lot that I mean a lot to her, and well, she means she means basically my whole world to me. I know, like, oh, you're young, you're young, you're only 14. And she, that's just popular, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, yeah, she really meant a lot to me, and she still does, and she probably always will. But yeah, if I ever get back together with her, I won't make the same mistakes I made before. Like, don't put her six months later. I would try to have a serious relationship without going complete havoc. But anyway, yeah, over the summer, which is like now, I've still been talking to her on a normal day basis, and blah, 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 but really, yeah, but anyway, it kind of did hurt me, though, it kind of hurt me a lot when she used to date a bunch of other guys while I was single waiting, but yeah. What really hurt me is that she said she wanted to be single for a couple months, but she went, when she said that, she wasn't even single. Like a, like a week after that, and that really hurt me. But so let's get off all the bad stuff. Get out of the dark clouds, and let's get into a shiny day here. But anyway, it's like midnight, so. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so. I'm just stuck right now. I'm really stuck. Just give me a couple seconds. But anyway, yeah. Ever since I don't know when I first saw it, it was like second grade, I've liked her. I'm really. I remember one day we were at lunch, and she like she was every girl was in this I like bad guy stage, and I'm like, and she liked this one guy that I hated. And I'm like, oh, you don't want to be with him. You don't want to be with him. Blah 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 blah. He's bad. He does this. Blah 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 blah. blah. I can do. Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm trying to get her out of there so she can be with me. I had kind of failed for like a couple months. And yeah, when I first dumped her, that was a terrible mistake. Her parents hated me. And she, they tried to give me another chance, which I failed miserably. And I didn't mean any of that, actually. I didn't mean any of it. I was a huge dick back then. I was trying to change. I tried to get my life back on straight. Because like I said before, no one's harder on myself than me. But yeah. So... I mean, a person much, much, 
a personal message to her directly as well. I'll never forget about you. You've been my best friend since you know, we first met. And well, I hope we still know each other in the future. And I hope we're more than friends in the future too. And someday maybe more than that. I really do have fi really good feelings for you. I just can't express them in the words because it's just so hard for me because I'm a guy and I'm like, oh, we're two of guys who have feelings and big fusses and we're all big jerks. But yeah, sometimes the don't judge a book by your cover. It could be built like a car or a truck or whatever you want to say to build like, but sometimes there's just huge study bears inside. And I'm not saying that's the case with me. I'm not saying it's the case with any other guy. I'm just saying that's your general genre of guys. Just, yeah, not to be gay or anything. But anyway, yeah. But, yeah, I guess the whole point of these two videos is that I'm really trying to express myself about what I feel for this particular girl, and she knows she's probably watching this video. But yeah, I'm just trying to express myself and how I feel, because it's really, it's really difficult for me to express myself personally, because, well, I'm just hard at doing that. <laughs> Not hard. Anyway, yeah, I'm just really terrible at expressing myself, because I always mess up words and blah, 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 I stutter a lot, but still. Yeah. I guess the main story of this video is, is I always want to be with you, and, well, I love you. And, well, bye.